Joseph Irap Ejercito Estrada, born José Ejercito y Marcelo, born April 19, 1937, is a Filipino politician and former actor who served as the 13th President of the Philippines from 1998 to 2001 and as the 9th Vice President of the Philippines from 1992 to 1998. In 2001, he became the first President in Asia to be impeached from an executive role. He has been mayor of the city of Manila, the country's capital, since 2013. Estrada gained popularity as a film actor, playing the lead role in over a hundred films in an acting career spanning some three decades, and model, who was started as a fashion and ramp model at the age of 13. He used his popularity as an actor to make gains in politics, serving as mayor of San Juan from 1969 to 1986, as senator from 1987 to 1992, then as vice president under President Fidel V. Ramos from 1992 to 1998. Estrada was elected president in 1998 with a wide margin of votes separating him from the other challengers, and was sworn into the presidency on June 30, 1998. In 2000 he declared an all-out war against the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and captured its headquarters and other camps. However, allegations of corruption spawned an impeachment trial in the Senate, and in 2001 Estrada was ousted by People Power II after the prosecution walked out of the impeachment court when the senator judges voted no in the opening of the second envelope. In 2007, Estrada was sentenced by the Special Division of the Sandiganbayan to reclusion perpetua for the plunder of stealing $80 million from the government and was sentenced to a lifetime in prison, but was later granted pardon by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. He ran for president again in the 2010 presidential election, but was defeated by Senator Benigno Aquino III by a wide margin. Early life and career Jose Marcelo Ejercito Sr. was born at 8.25 p.m. on April 19, 1937 at Manuguit Maternity Hospital, now known as Amasola Maternity Hospital, in Tondo, an urban district of Manila. His family later moved to the wealthy suburb of San Juan. He belonged to a wealthy family, and was the eighth of ten children of Emilio Ejercito Sr. and his wife, Maria Marcelo. After graduating from the Ateneo Elementary School in 1951, he was expelled during his second year of secondary studies at the Ateneo High School for disciplinary conduct. Later during college he enrolled in a civil engineering course at the Mapua Institute of Technology in an effort to please his father. However, he would leave once again and later transferred to Central Colleges of the Philippines but dropped out. In his 20s, he began a career as a drama actor, usually playing the role of the villain, antagonist. He adopted the stage name, Joseph Estrada, as his mother objected to his chosen career and his decision to quit schooling multiple times. He also acquired the nickname, Erap, a play on the Tagalog slang, Pear, meaning, Buddy, from his friend, fellow actor Fernando Poe Jr. Personal life Joseph Estrada is the first president to have previously worked in the entertainment industry as a popular artist, and for being the first to sport any sort of facial hair during his term, specifically his trademark acting mustaches and wristbands. Family Estrada is married to former First Lady turned Senator Dr. Luisa L.O.I. Pimentel, whom he met while she was working at the National Center for Mental Health NCMH, in Mandaluyong City, and has three children with her. Jose. Jingoy. Ejercito Jr., Mayor of San Juan, 1992-2001, Senator, 2004-2016, married to Prisi Vitug. Jackie Ejercito, formerly married to Beaver Lopez. Judah Hercido, married to Rowena Ocampo, he also has eight children from several extramarital relationships, with former actress Pichi Osorio. Joel Eduardo. Jojo. A Hercito. Teresita. Techi. A Hercitoath incumbent San Juan City Mayor Guia Gomez. 
Joseph Victor Ejercito, Mayor of San Juan, 2001 to 2010, Representative of San Juan City, 2010 to 2013, and Senator, 2013 present, married to Cindy Lotuaco, with a former air hostess who is publicly known only by the name Lorena. Jason Ejercito, with former actress Larnie Enriquez. Jerica Ejercito. Juan Emilio. Jake. Ejercito. Jacob Ejercito at former air hostess Joy Melendrez. Joma Ejercito. Other relatives. Several of Ejercito's relatives became prominent figures in politics and showbiz. Jorge Ejercito. George Estragon. Brother, actor. E.R. Ejercito. George Estragon Jr. Son of George Estragon and nephew, actor, mayor of Pagsingen, Laguna 2001-2010, and governor of Laguna 2010-2014. Gary Ejercito. Gary Estrada. Nephew, actor and board member of Quezon Province. Garima Ejercito. Nephew, basketball player. Film. Estrada played the lead role in more than 100 movies, and produced more than 70 films. He was the first famous Hall of Fame recipient for Best Actor 1981, and also became a Hall of Fame Award winner as a producer 1983. He often played heroes of the lower classes, making him popular among several impoverished citizens. This proved advantageous to his political career. In 1974 Estrada founded the movie Workers' Welfare Foundation, Mawefund, which helps filmmakers through medical reimbursements, hospitalization, surgery and death benefits, livelihood, and alternative income opportunities and housing. Its educational arm, the Mawefund Film Institute, has produced some of the most skilled and respected producers, filmmakers, writers and performers in both the independent and mainstream sectors of the industry since its inception in 1979. He also founded, together with Guillermo de Vega, the first Metro Manila Film Festival in 1975. Early political career Mayor of San Juan Estrada entered politics in 1967, running for mayor of San Juan, Metro Manila, then a municipality of Rizal, failing and only succeeding in 1969 after winning an electoral protest against Braulio Sto. Domingo. His administration was marked by unequaled accomplishments in infrastructure development. These included the establishment of the first municipal high school, the Agra Complex, a modern slaughterhouse, a sprawling government center with a post office, a mini park and the paving of 98% of the town's roads and alleys. As mayor, he paid particular attention to the elementary education of children by improving and renovating school buildings, constructing additional school structures, health centers, barangay halls and playgrounds in all the barangays and providing artesian wells to areas with low water supply. He relocated some 1,800 squatter families out of San Juan to Taytay, Rizal, at no cost. He was also the first mayor to computerize assessment of the real estate tax in the municipal assessor's office. When Corazon Aquino assumed the presidency in 1986, all elected officials of the local government were forcibly removed and replaced by appointed officers in charge, including Estrada. Senator of the Philippines The following year, Estrada won a seat in the Senate under the Grand Alliance for Democracy GAD, placing 16th in the elections out of 24 winners. In 1987, he set his sights on a Senate run and handily garnered a seat. He was appointed Chairman of the Committee on Public Works. He was Vice Chairman of the Committees on Health, Natural Resources and Ecology and Urban Planning. In the Senate, Estrada was credited with the passage of, among other major pieces of legislation, the Bills on Irrigation Project and the Protection and Propagation of Carabaos, the Beast of Burden in the Rural Areas. As a senator, he was one of the so-called Magnificent Twelve, who voted to terminate the RPUS military bases agreement leading to the withdrawal of American servicemen from the Clark Air Base in Pampanga and the Subic Naval Base in Zambales. 
In 1989, the Free Press cited him as one of the three outstanding senators of the year. He was conferred the degree of Doctor of Humanities, honoris causa by the Bicol University in April 1997, and the University of Pangasinan in 1990. Vice Presidency In 1992, Joseph Estrada initially ran for president with Vicente Rivera Jr. as his running mate but he withdrew his bid and instead ran for vice president as the running mate of Eduardo Coanco Jr. under the Nationalist People. S. Coalition. Though Coanco lost to former National Defense Secretary Fidel Ramos, Estrada won the vice presidency garnering more votes than his closest opponent, Ramon Mitra Jr. S. running mate, Marcelo Fernand. As vice president, Estrada was the chairman of President Ramos' Presidential Anti-Crime Commission PACC. Estrada arrested criminal warlords and kidnapping syndicates. He resigned as chairman in 1997. In the same year Estrada, together with former President Corazon Aquino, Cardinal Jamie Sin, Senator Gloria Macapagal Arroyo and other political leaders, led an anti-charter change rally brought in an estimated half a million people to Rizal Park against the charter change moves by Ramos and his supporters. Presidency Estrada was the first president to use a special name as his official address name, combining his real family name, Ejercito, with his screen name, thus forming Joseph Ejercito Estrada. Estrada was inaugurated on June 30, 1998 in the historical town of Malolos in Bulacan Province in paying tribute to the cradle of the First Philippine Republic. That afternoon the new president delivered his inaugural address at the Quirino Grandstand in Luneta. He assumed office amid the Asian financial crisis and with agricultural problems due to poor weather conditions, thereby slowing the economic growth to minus 0.6% in 1998 from a 5.2% in 1997. The economy recovered by 3.4% in 1999 and 4% in 2000. In 2000 he declared an all-out war against the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and captured its headquarters and other camps. However, allegations of corruption spawned a railroaded impeachment trial in the Senate courtesy of House Speaker Manuel Villar, and in 2001 Estrada was ousted from a coup after the trial was aborted. In his inaugural address, Estrada said, Cabinet, 1998-2001 Domestic policies Foreign policies Economy By the end of Estrada's administration, debt supposedly reached P2.1 trillion in 1999. Domestic debt supposedly amounted to P986.7 billion while foreign debt stood at $52.2 billion. The fiscal deficit had reportedly doubled to more than P100 billion from a low of P49 billion in 1998. Despite such setbacks, the GDP by 1999 posted a 3.2% growth rate, up from a low of minus 0.5% in 1998. Moreover, domestic investments started to increase from 18.8% of GDP in 1999 to 21.2% .2 of GDP in 2000. War against the MILF during the Ramos administration a cessation of hostilities agreement was signed between the Philippine government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front in July 1997. This was continued by a series of peace talks and negotiations in Estrada administration. The MILF, an Islamic group formed in 1977, seeks to be an independent Islamic state from the Philippines, and, despite the agreements, a sequence of terrorist attacks on the Philippine military and civilians still continued. These included the kidnapping of a foreign priest, namely Father Luciano Benedetti, the destruction by arson of Talayan, Maguindano's Municipal Hall, the takeover of the Kauswagen Municipal Hall, the bombing of the Lady of Mediatrix boat at Ozamiz City, and the takeover of the Narciso Ramos Highway. By doing so, they inflicted severe damage on the country's image abroad, and scared much needed investments away. For this reason, on March 21, 2000, Estrada declared an 
all-out war against the MILF. During the war the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines CBCP, asked Estrada to negotiate a ceasefire with MILF, but Estrada opposed the idea arguing that a ceasefire would cause more terrorist attacks. For the next three months of the war, Camp Abubakar, headquarters of the MILF, fell along with other 13 major camps and 43 minor camps, and then all of which became under controlled by the government. The MILF leader Hashim Salamat fled to Malaysia. The MILF later declared a jihad on the government. On July 10 of the same year, the president went to Manadanao and raised the Philippine flag symbolizing victory. After the war the president said, We'll speed up government efforts to bring genuine and lasting peace and development in Mindanao. In the middle of July the president ordered the military to arrest top MILF leaders. In his State of the Nation address, popularly called SONA, the president highlighted his vision for Mindanao. The first is to restore and maintain peace in Mindanao. Because without peace, there can be no development. The second is to develop Mindanao. Because without development, there can be no peace. The third is to continue seeking peace talks with the MILF within the framework of the Constitution. Because a peace agreed upon in good faith is preferable to a peace enforced by force of arms. And the fourth is to continue with the implementation of the peace agreement between the government and the Moro National Liberation Front, or MNLF. Because that is our commitment to our countrymen and to the international community. In addition to this, the president said his administration can move with more speed in transforming Mindanao into a progressive economic center. High on the list of priorities was the plight of MILF guerrillas who were tired of fighting and had no camps left to which to report. On October 5, 2000, the first massive surrender of 669 LC MILF Mujahideen, led by the renegade vice mayor of Marugong, Lanao del Sur Malupandi Kasani Sarip, and seven other battalion commanders, surrendered to President Estrada at the 4th ID headquarters in Camp Edilberto Evangelista, BGY, Patag, Cagayan de Oro City. They were followed shortly by a second batch of 855 surrenderies led by Lost Command MILF Commander Sabin Ampaso on December 29, 2000. Controversies Corruption charges and impeachment In October 2000, Ilocos Sur Governor Luis Chavit Singson, a close friend of the president, alleged that he had personally given Estrada P. 400 million as payoff from Jutang, a grassroots-based numbers game, hidden in a bank account known as Jose Velarde, as well as P. 180 million from the government price subsidy for the tobacco farmers. Marketing cooperative after Estrada ordered a full-blown investigation into Chavit Singson's alleged misuse of millions of pesos in public funds. Singson's allegation caused controversy across the nation, which culminated in the House of Representatives. Filing of an impeachment case against Estrada on November 13, 2000. House Speaker Manny Villar fast-tracked the impeachment complaint. The impeachment suit was brought to the Senate and an impeachment court was formed, with Chief Justice Hilario Davide Jr. as presiding officer. Estrada pleaded. Not guilty. This was the first time the Filipino public witnessed, through radio and television, an elected president stand in trial and face possible impeachment with full media coverage. During the trial, the prosecution presented witnesses and alleged evidences to the impeachment court regarding Estrada's alleged involvement in Jutang. The existence of secret bank accounts which he allegedly uses for receiving payoffs was also brought to the fore. In the 2004 Global Transparency Report, Estrada made into the list of the world's all-time most corrupt leaders in the world. He was listed 10th and he was said to have amassed between $78 million to $80 million. Also making it to the list from the Philippines is Ferdinand Marcos, who ended up second in the list as he was said to have embezzled between $5 billion to $10 billion during his 21 years as president from 1965 to 1986. EDSA 2 Protests 
On the evening of January 16, 2001, the impeachment court voted not to open an envelope that was alleged to contain incriminating evidence against the president simply because it was not part of the impeachment complaint. The final vote was 11 to 10, in favor of keeping the envelope closed. The prosecution panel of congressmen and lawyers walked out of the impeachment court in protest of this vote. The 11 senators who voted not to open the envelope are known as the Craven 11. That night, anti Estrada protesters gathered in front of the EDSA shrine at Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, not too far away from the site of the 1986 People Power Revolution that overthrew Ferdinand Marcos. On January 19, 2001, armed forces of the Philippines' Chief of Staff Angelo Reyes, seeing the political upheaval throughout the country, decided to withdraw his support from the president and transfer his allegiance to the vice president, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Resignation the following day, the Supreme Court declared that the seat of presidency was vacant, saying that Estrada had resigned his post. At noon, the Chief Justice swore in Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as President of the Philippines. Before Estrada's departure from Malacañang, he issued the following press release. Post-presidency Estrada returned to his old home in San Juan. He maintained that he never resigned, implying that Arroyo's government was illegitimate. The new government created a special court and charged him with plunder and had him arrested in April. His supporters marched to the EDSA shrine demanding Estrada's release and his reinstatement as president but were dispersed by high-grade tear gas and warning shots from automatic rifles. On the morning of May 1, the protesters marched straight to Malacañang Palace. Violence erupted and the government declared a state of rebellion. Many Filipino protesters were badly injured and arrested, including politicians. The government called out the military and was able to quell the demonstration with tear gas and automatic rifles. The bloody uprising came to be known as EDSA-3. Estrada was initially detained at the Veterans Memorial Medical Center in Quezon City and then transferred to a military facility in Tanay, Rizal, but he was later transferred to a nearby vacation home, virtually in house arrest. Under Philippine law, plunder had a maximum penalty of death, however the death penalty was eventually repealed. Trial On September 12, 2007, the Sandiganbayan finally gave its decision, finding Estrada not guilty on his perjury case but guilty of plunder. Beyond reasonable doubt, he was sentenced to reclusion perpetua. He was thus the first Philippine president who was impeached and then convicted. On September 26, 2007, Joseph Estrada appealed by filing a 63 page motion for reconsideration of the Sandiganbayan judgment penned by Teresita de Castro, submitting five legal grounds. Estrada alleged that the court erred when it convicted him by acquitting his alleged co conspirators. On October 5, 2007, the Sandiganbayan S special division ruled to have set for October 19, oral argument, instead of a defense reply, on Joseph Estrada's motion for reconsideration. Estrada asked for court permission to attend the hearing, since it ordered the prosecution to file comment before October 11. Perjury case The Sandiganbayan S. Special Division, on June 27, 2008, ordered Estrada to file comment within 10 days, on the motion of the Ombudsman. S. Special Prosecutor to reopen the trial of his perjury case regarding 1999 Statement of Assets, Liabilities and Net Worth SALN. The court was also to resolve Banco de Oros formerly Equitable PCI Bank, plea that it cannot determine, without hazard to itself who to turn over to the P1.1 billion Jose Velarde assets due to claims by Wellex Group, William Gashalian and a Bureau of Internal Revenue stay order. Pardon and release from detention On October 22, 2007, Acting Justice Secretary Agnes Divanadera stated that Joseph Estrada is seeking a full, free, and unconditional pardon. From President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Estrada's lawyer Jose Flaminiano wrote Arroyo, the time has come to end President Estrada. 
S. Fight for Justice and Vindication Before the Courts. Today, Monday, we filed a withdrawal of his motion for reconsideration. Estrada, 70, stressed the delicate condition of his mother in asking for pardon. On October 25, 2007, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo granted executive clemency to Joseph Estrada based on the recommendation by the Department of Justice (DOJ). Acting Executive Secretary and Press Secretary Ignacio R. Bunya quoted the signed order. In view hereof in pursuant of the authority conferred upon me by the Constitution, I hereby grant executive clemency to Joseph Ejercito Estrada, convicted by the Sandiganbayan of plunder and imposed a penalty of reclusion perpetua. He is hereby restored to his civil and political rights. Bunya noted that Estrada committed in his application not to seek public office, and he would be free from his Tanay rest house on October 26, noon. On October 26, 2007, after almost seven years of detention, Joseph Estrada was finally released after the Sandiganbayan promulgated the historical resolution. Activities when Estrada was released he gave a message to the Filipino people that he can once again help the lives of the people, especially the poor. He also stated that he made errors as a public servant but he assured them that, notwithstanding his conviction for it, corruption was not one of them. After the release he had a nationwide tour called Lakbay Pasisalamat, thank you tour, and during those trips he thanked the people for their support and gave them relief goods such as food, medicines and clothing. In politics, he stated that he was convincing leaders of the opposition to have unity, and that failing that, he would run. 2010 presidential election Joseph Estrada stated in interviews that he would be willing to run for the opposition in the event that they are unable to unite behind a single candidate. Fr. Joaquin Bernas and Christian Monsad, members of the Constitutional Commission that drafted the 1987 Constitution, stated that the Constitution clearly prohibits any elected president from seeking a second term at any point in time. Romulo McAllintal, Election Council of President Arroyo, clarified that the constitutional ban doesn't prevent Estrada from attaining the presidency in the event that he were to be elevated from the vice presidency, for example. However, Rufus Rodriguez, one of Estrada's lawyers, claims that the former president is within his rights to do so because the prohibition banning re election only applies to the incumbent president. On October 22, 2009, former President Joseph Estrada announced that he would run again for president with Makati City Mayor Jejomar Binay as his running mate. His senatorial lineup included Francisco Tadad, Juan Ponce Enrile, Jingoy Estrada, Joey de Venecia, and Miriam Defensor Santiago. However, he lost to Benigno Aquino III on election. Other activities In 1972 Estrada starred in Blood Compact. In October 2010, the magazine Foreign Policy included Estrada in its list of five former head of states, governments who did not make a positive difference in the world, but faded away into obscurity. Also included in this bad exes list were Thailand's Toxin Shinawat, Spahn's Jose Maria Aznar, and Germany's Gerhard Schroeder. Estrada announced in November 2010 that he will be selling his 3,000 square meter, 0. 74 acre home in San Juan, Metro Manila for nearly $7 million, 300 million Philippine pesos to pursue his real estate business. Agents France Press reported that Estrada has put up two high-rise residential condominium buildings and plans to build a third soon. Mayor of Manila In May 2012, Estrada announced his intention to run for mayor of Manila in the 2013 elections to continue his political career. Around noon of May 14, 2013, the day after the conduct of the 2013 Philippine mid term elections, Estrada and his running mate and re electionist Vice Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso were proclaimed mayor elect and vice mayor elect, respectively, by the City Board of Canvassers for the City of Manila. Electoral history San Juan mayoralty elections 
Estrada won every mayoralty election in San Juan from 1969 to 1984, senatorial election, 1987. Joseph Estrada, GAD, 10,029,978, 14th, 24 candidates with the highest number of votes win the 24 seats in the Senate, vice presidential election, 1992. Joseph Estrada, PMP, 6,739,738, 33.00%. Marcelo Fernan, LDP, 4,438,494, 21.74%. Emilio Osmeña, Lacas NUCD, 3,362,467, 16.47%. Ramon Magsaysay Jr., PRP, 2,900,556, 14.20%. Aquilino Pimentel Jr., PDP Laban, 2,023,289, 9.91%. Vicente Magsaysay, KBL, 699,895, 3.43%. Eva Estrada Cala, Nationalista, 255,730, 1.25%, Presidential Election, 1998. Joseph Estrada, LAMMP, 10,722,295, 39.86%. Ramon Magsaysay, Jose de Venecia, Lacas NUCD UMDP, 4,268,483, 15.87%. Raul Rocco, Axion Democratico, 3,720,212, 13.83%. Emilio Osmeña, PROMDI, 3,347,631, 12.44%. Alfredo Lim, Liberal, 2,344,362, 8.71%. Renato de Villa, Reforma LM, 1,308,352, 4.86%. Miriam Defensor Santiago, PRP, 797,206, 2.96%. Juan Ponce and Real, Independent, 343,139, 1.28%. Santiago Dumlao, Kilusan para sa Pambansing Pagpapanabago, 32,212, 0.12%. Manuel Morado, Partido Bansing Marangal, 18,644, 0.07%, Presidential Election, 2010. Benigno Aquino III, Liberal, 15,208,678, 42.08%. Joseph Estrada, PMP, 9,487,837, 26.25%. Manny Villar, Nationalista, 5,573,835, 15.42%. Gilbert Teodoro, Lacas Campi CMD, 4,095,839, 11.33%. Eddie Villanueva, Bangon Pilipinas, 1,125,878, 3.12%. Richard Gordon, Bagambayan BNP, 501,727, 1.39%. Nicanor Perlas, Independent, 54,575, 0.15%. Jambi Madrigal, Independent, 46,489, 0.13%. John Carlos de los Reyes, Ang Kapatiran, 44,244, 0.12%. Manila mayoralty elections 2013. Joseph Estrada, Una, 349,770. Alfredo Lim, LP, 307,525, 47.33%, Manila mayoralty elections 2016. Joseph Estrada, PMP, 283,149. 
Alfredo Lim, LP, 280,464, 47.33%. In popular culture Since the beginning of his political career, Estrada has been the butt of many jokes in the Philippines. The majority of the jokes about him center around his limited English vocabulary, while others focus on his corruption scandals. During his presidential campaign in 1998, Estrada authorized the distribution of the joke compilation book Eraption, How to Speak English Without Really Trial. Awards and honors 1975 Metro Manila Film Festival Best Actor for Diligent Mo Ng Hamog Ang Yuhan Alupa 1962 Famous Best Actor for Marking Rijas 1964 Famous Best Actor for Garon Basabos 1965 Famous Best Actor for Ang Batang Quiapo 1966 Famous Best Actor for Ito Ang Pilipino 1969 Famous Best Actor for Patria Adorada 1971 Outstanding Mayor and Foremost Nationalist by the Interprovincial Information Service 1972 – One of the Ten Outstanding Young Men TOYM, in Public Administration by the Philippine Jaycees 1981 – Famous Best Actor for Commander Alabasbas 1981 – Famous Hall of Fame 2007 – Most Outstanding Citizen of San Juan 2014 – GMMSF Box Office Entertainment Awards Government Service Award References External links Official website of Joseph Erap Estrada Office of the President, Estrada Administration, at the Wayback Machine, archived December 7, 2000 Joseph Estrada Curriculum Vitae Malacanang Museum Official Biography Joseph Estrada's channel on YouTube Joseph Estrada on IMDb